Good everyone. My name is Graphics. Today we'll be looking at an aspect of technical drawing, which is what? Tangency. Now we know when something is tangent. It's like if I have a, a circle A and I have a line that is just passing through it this way. Let me call that line to be B. Right? You say circle A is tangent to what? Line B. Or if I have two circles, A and another circle, B, you say circle A is tangent to B because of what? They are just touching each other. Right? When you have two circles this way, this is not tangent to this because of what? It is cutting through. When two things are bisecting each other, you don't say they are tangent. It's only when they are just passing, touching their, their surface are just touching. Now let's take an example of this. Now look at this question here. It says that we have a circle that has a radius of 20 and we have another circle that has a radius of 50. Distance between these two circles, because whenever you find the radius, that means there's an, a circle attached to it. Now, between these two circles, from here to here, that they are what, 65 millimeter apart. So the first thing we first of all draw, we draw the circle that has radius, what? Radius 20. So let's start with this. I will take my compact, my set square, my T square. And I'll draw this one long one like center line, right? After doing that, I am going to take my C square and draw another one that is parallel, that is that is cutting through like this. And this, this, and this, this, and this, and this. Right? So I have gotten the center of this circle. Remember, the radius of the circle is said to be what? 20 millimeter. So let's do that and see. So you measure. If I want to measure, if I take my meter rule, if I place my compass, at this 0, 0.0 and I'm taking it to 20 this is 20 here 1 to 2 0 to 2 is 20 right that's the radius and I'm going to draw my circle I better of all start with a faint line because I'm not really sure how it will end so I'll start with a faint line now after that it says that the distance of this circle from the base here straight down to the next circle is what? 65. So that means from the base here straight down here, somewhere around here, is 65. So I'm going to measure 65. So if I place my compass here, my ruler here, I will have 0 to what? 65 is at this point here. Is that the key? So this is my point 65. So I will say this is my point A. And here is what? My point B. Right? Now what do you notice? It's telling us that at this point here, at this point here, this is let me call it, let me use a layman language. This is a hole. Now, when there's a hole, what do you do to a hole when you see a hole? You fill up the hole. So it means that what? I am going to fill up this hole. How will you fill up a hole? Is by adding. So I'm going to add these two radius together because I want to fill this hole. So I'm going to add arrow 50 and arrow 20. It's going to give us what? Arrow 70. So we are going to say that. 
arrow 50 you're going to say that arrow 50 plus radius 20 give us what radius 70 so with my ruler i'm going to measure 70 starting from zero starting from zero i'm going to measure what this is 70 here. right that is what 70 and i'll place it at the center of this circle and i'm going to strike an arc like this is that okay because the radius of this was that i'll strike an arc to get this that is the first thing i'll do now the next thing is since there is no circle at this point there's nothing at this point here i mean that my radius for that will not be what arrow zero right plus that other radius look at what i'm trying to say now my radius for this is what the radius for this is arrow zero because there's no circle here so I'll add the arrow 0 plus arrow 50 to give me back arrow 50. So arrow 0, or I'll say arrow 50 plus arrow 0 to give us what? Arrow 50. So I'm going to measure 50 on my meter rule. So if I come here and I measure 50 from here to this point here, this is 50. Can you see? 50 here and I will come to this point here A and I'm going to strike an arc well wow. so where they meet at this point here that is where my arrow 50 will be is that the king so I'll place my compass at this point here hmm then So, if I place it here, where they meet, I will gauge my meter, my compass, to be tangent to that point. Can you see that? I will come here, make sure that I'm going to draw. So it must be what? Tangent. Not what? Tangent. Can you see that? So I will not take in this. We must get it very well. That again so this is my tangent so I mean that from this point where they meet to this point is my arrow 50 then from this point straight down to this point is my 65 so let me just do that my 65 here so I'll just draw this and I'll draw this This is what 65. Then the angle from here to here, the edges, that is R20. So this is the tangent, this is the tangent here. Thank you.